hello my loves welcome back to my channel this is the moonless goddess and i am so happy to have you and your amazing energy in this time and space with me right now excuse the new setup i figured i would just start doing it at my workstation um this is kind of like my work setup because i have a job where i kind of you know answer phones uh through a call center and i am able to work at home on the weekends through my laptop and ipad so i did that this morning and i figured i would go ahead now and do a reading for you guys so let's go ahead and clear the space with the singing bowl i want you guys to really just release any thoughts any overwhelming emotions, any negative energy that could be in your space right now, I want you to let all of that go. I want you just to concentrate on good energy, on the messages that you need to receive today. Let's just have a good time, you guys. All right, you can grab a snack, you can grab something to drink. Just relax and enjoy the reading. So we are going to take a deep breath in. Taking all that positive chi energy and we are going to release any old stagnant negative energy. Silence your mind, clear your thoughts. I'm wondering if maybe we should put on some meditative music. That could be cool, huh? Let's do that maybe. We are going to also be using the tea leaf deck today and just get any messages that need to come through. This could be for you. Um, this could be for somebody that is in your energy field. Okay, it will be different for everybody. This message not even might not even be for you, okay? So please just take it how it resonates and leave the rest for somebody else who needs it you guys all right um let's see all right we are going to get some calm relaxing let's get remove all toxic emotions attract luck abundance and well-being this is 888 hertz so let's do that one all right you guys Hope you guys are all doing well comment down below how has everybody been doing if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel become a part of the moonless crew this is just a really chill safe space where we read energy and where you can always feel free to be yourself um please keep it kind in the comment box down below but also feel free to speak however you feel or share your opinions or you know I want you to know that you can always be yourself here. So, spirit, I welcome only the highest of love and light. Only the highest of love and light is welcome here. We welcome our ancestors, our guides, and our angels that work with us to bring us the highest, highest 
um, the most positive messages for our highest good. Anything that we need to know right now. We ask that you protect us, protect the space, protect our bodies, protect our hearts, minds, and souls. Any negative energy, be asked to leave right now. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell left out of here, okay? If you're an OG, I'm a less good, then you know about that. All right, you guys, let's see what wants to come out. What messages need to come out? So we have lion, time to act. It is time to, time to stand up for yourself. It is time to finally speak up for yourself. It is time for you to stand up for yourself. Something has happened. You have been holding back about what you want to say, what you want to do. You have been procrastinating about something, and now is the time to act, Spirit says. We have valley, deep personal strength, and peace that will assure success. Yes, you have a lot of strength, okay? A lot of strength. This is about personal strength finding your peace, going on a vacation, either mentally or physically, this is going to assure some, some kind of success in your life. Yeah, because you are the star. Aquarian energy, you could be an Aquarius, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you don't have to be. This is guaranteed success. This also tells me that you are a vessel. You are a vessel, a clear channel from source into the 3D physical world. You're very connected with the spirit realm. What else? What else? Yeah, look. You could have been very, very, um, it's like feeling lost in a forest, feeling lost, feeling stuck, feeling muddled. Just unclear thinking. Get out. Clear your head. Because you've, you've had a lot of unclear thinking. You don't know what to do about a, a certain situation. You have felt stuck. You have felt lost. Okay? Like I said, it's time to act. You've been wanting to speak up on something. Do not back down. The bull is here. Do not back down from this opposition show strength and show fortitude because remember with this deep personal strength that you have this will always assure success don't back down from whoever this is be the lion be the bull the lion and the bull they do not back down they are very strong energies here okay very strong energies what else All right, we have February. So some of y'all could be born in February. February could be significant to you, okay? Maybe there was some kind of lesson that needed to be learned in February. Something could have happened in February. This was a period of frustration. There was some kind of lesson that needed to be learned, okay? You could have been very depressed in February, all right? Um, with the fly here, there could have been some kind of deep, deep karmic energy that was surrounding, surrounding you in February. Some kind of karmic lesson was definitely learned in February, you guys. Okay, I'm definitely picking that up. Okay, and there is going to be, if it hasn't already happened yet, there is going to be a chain of events that is going to affect your life. And don't worry, we will clarify. Ooh. There will, there has been a, a very, yeah, okay, there was a wall up. Somebody had put a wall up. You felt like you just could not, it was a lot of misunderstandings. Maybe you and somebody else both had y'all's walls up, okay? This could have to do with romance, okay? This could be a significant other, somebody that you're currently with, or this could be an ex, and I just want you to know, if you're not with this person and you're wondering if this person has been thinking of you, you are being highly thought of right now, okay? There could have been something that caused a wedge between you and this person with wedge here. Something caused a wedge between you and this person. It has caused you two to separate. And I feel like you are just getting back to your life. 
you are taking care of yourself you're getting back to the things that you want to do to the things that you love you are not stressing over this you you know that everything happens for a reason and you know what at the, at the end of the day somewhere in the back of your head you could be asking does this person still think about me just know yes you are you're very highly thought of we're gonna get two more and then we are gonna get some other cards family sorrow yeah this could be look there is there is somebody who admires you if this isn't this person there's somebody who admires you maybe some kind of secret admirer there's going to be a secret admirer coming in and they are going to be complimenting you they could be bringing you flowers okay but I definitely feel like with this separation, there could have been a family involved. Some kind of family sorrow with the weeping willow here. Okay, this has not been easy. This has affected children. There could be children here that have been affected. You know, you and this person could have been married, but you didn't have to be. It's different for everybody. There's been a lot of family sorrow here. Okay, but there is an exciting event that is going to be taking place. I don't know if it's this person or somebody else, but you're going to be getting some kind of compliments from an admirer. Like I said, could be a secret admirer, all right? Hmm. Yeah, because there is somebody in your life that is extremely stubborn. They have been unwilling to change. All right. Let's see. Oh, I have this bag because I packed some cards to take with me last this weekend. It's my alien bag. It says, fuck them. That could be a message for somebody. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get some from some other decks. See if we can clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify some of these cards, spirit. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Spirit, tell me about this exciting event. What is this exciting event? That is going to be taking place. This exciting event that's going to be taking place. What is this exciting event that's going to be taking place? Tell me about this exciting event, Spirit. We have camera. Oh, I'm sorry, cassette. Hmm. So somebody has been replaying events over and over and over again in their head, thinking about everything that has happened between the two of you. Okay, they're listening to music, they're replaying songs, every song that they hear somehow makes them think of you. There could have been some songs that y'all, like maybe y'all connected through music. Maybe y'all had a hard time expressing your emotions. And so you and this person would send each other songs to try to um, let this person know how you feel or vice versa. Okay. What is this exciting event though? <laughs> we have the dragonfly. Things coming to light. You're going to be finding out something. Someone is going to come to you. This is going to be very lighthearted energy, okay? Somebody has learned to change. Somebody has is going to heal. They're going to change. They've learned to adapt to certain situations. You're going to be finding out something. They're going to be telling you something or something is going to be coming to light. That is going to be whatever this exciting event is. You're going to be finding out something. Yeah, somebody's going to be calling you. Someone's going to be making a love call. Someone is going to express their love. This is a message of love. 
they're thinking of you and they are going to let you know because I already told you, you are highly thought of and they're, they've been very stubborn. They've been unwilling to change. But it says right here, this exciting event that's happening is they have healed. They have changed. They are going to come to you and they are going to let you know how much they love you. Okay? So, let's see. What are these compliments from an admirer? What are these compliments from an admirer? challenge somebody has finally dealt with their emotions there was somebody that was not able to deal with their emotions very well they are bringing all of this chaos into balance but it could have taken a little while there was some kind of delay there was some kind of detour, but this was beneficial for them, okay? There was some kind of test that this person had to pass before they could level up. There was some kind of divinely guided detour, okay? And this person has finally learned how to master their energy, okay? And they have been working out. Possibly they're going to be going to the gym, they're taking daily steps towards their dream. Doors are going to be opening for the two of you. Okay, this person could have been a runner. Okay, there's the chaser and the runner. This person kept running. You could have been in some kind of codependent relationship. This person listened to their ego. They had a fear of intimacy. And they are going to be giving you some kind of compliments. There's something they want to tell you. There's something they want to tell you. Okay. You are highly thought of. What have they been thinking about when they think about you? What have they been thinking about? Ooh. Interesting. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Look. There was some kind of karmic lesson that this person had to, look, this could even be a karmic relationship or this person is in a karmic relationship. This could be somebody, um, some, somebody that really caused them to feel triggered by certain things that happened in y'all's relationship. There were certain things that they brought in y'all's relationship from a past relationship, from a karmic relationship. And they held a lot of resentment for this person. And there was a lot of lessons that had to be learned. But this person had to learn how to let go of all of that resentment. And they had to learn to love themselves. Because there was a lot of turmoil here that they brought with them from this karma. They did not heal with the, they did not heal this relationship before they got with you. They they did they were not healed yet. There was still a lot of turmoil. There were still a lot of triggers, a lot of resentments. There were still a lot of lessons that needed to be dealt with. They still needed to, they were learning how to respond versus react. For so long, they were reacting to certain situations and didn't even think about it. It would just come out. They were triggered so fast. They didn't even know where it was coming from. And this person is finally going to learn to express from a loving place. They know that these old triggers, these this old trauma, this just yielded a lot of drama. And they have now learned how to respond versus react. They have now created some new beneficial thought patterns. They have created different thought patterns. You have taught them. And they want to let you know that. You have really taught them how to express things from a loving place. You have taught them how to deal with these triggers, how to deal with these wounds, how to deal with this karma. And, and Spirit wants you to know just to relax right now. Enjoy yourself. Have faith. 
allow these situations to unfold because there are going to be some answers that are going to be coming to you and this is going to be for your highest outcome you are going to finally find inner peace you are going to be clearing past and ancient trauma okay you and this person could have spent a past life together you could have had a past karmic relationship together okay this could be a twin flame soulmate energy it will be different for everybody who was trying to cause a wedge between the two of you who was trying to cause a wedge between the two of you what was what was causing a wedge release attachments look there was some kind of attachment something that y'all we're having a hard time releasing. This could be a codependent relationship. This could be a karmic partner. This could be an addiction. There was something that y'all needed to both release before. It was causing a wedge with y'all. It was causing a wedge between your relationship. It was getting in the middle. It was definitely affecting y'all's relationship in a very negative way. And you know, you are going to be getting rid of any expectations. When you have expectations, it causes yourself to get hurt. But when you just let go of all of those expectations and really just, you feel great about letting go. You're feeling great about letting go of either this addiction, this person, this attachment. You're going to have no expectations anymore so you can't get hurt. Okay, I feel like there was definitely some kind of tornado, a tornado moment, a tower moment, something that swept through your life. Okay, it swept through your life and it, it got rid of anything that was false, anything that was not authentic, not real, and it was so you could restructure your life. Everything came tumbling down. It was a tower moment. And for some reason, you were clinging on to something that no longer served you. You were still clinging on to something that no longer served you. But this is now cleared space. Okay, it has restructured your life. And just know, even if it seemed really hard and really like chaotic, there is a blessing within this. You are going to finally see your deepest needs and your deepest emotions through all of this. What was this misunderstanding about? What was this misunderstanding about? Okay. So we have girl with the snake here. So this says the empath narcissist paradigm. So you could be dealing with some kind of narcissistic energy. Um, there could be somebody that was feeling you and your person you and your ex one of y'all maybe both of y'all were feeling used we're feeling like y'all were being manipulated or being charmed okay y'all could have been enabling each other when it comes to addictions or codependent relationships and it was like somebody just could y'all couldn't respect each other's boundaries somebody couldn't respect somebody's boundaries there was a lot of boundaries that were not being respected Okay, and I feel like you have definitely just been taking a time out. You have been going out with your friends. This could be girlfriends. This could be guy friends. Okay, you could have had a guy friend. Okay, and um, maybe your person is getting very jealous, even though this is just your friend. There could have been a misunderstanding about that. But you have definitely moved on. You're happily single. You're living in the moment. Okay. You're having fun for once in your life. You're doing things for yourself for once in your life. And you're trusting in the process. You're knowing that everything always works out. That something there is something better out there for you. And you are having total confidence in the universe. Okay? You know that this person, they were put in your life for a reason. They were a karmic relationship. And they're going to come back in. But I feel like you're not going to take this person back. Some of you will. Some of you will not. Because some of you have had enough. Okay. 
What transpired in February? Why is February on the bill on the board? <clears throat> Soulmate. Somebody, there's this soulmate that has definitely been really missing you. They've been looking at your photos. They've been missing you. They've been thinking about when y'all first met, feeling very nostalgic, looking back at the old times, and they want to make new memories with you. This is a deep soul connection. This is somebody that you have a soul contract with. person likes you someone likes you romance is blooming fun or maybe oh yeah okay so you and this person broke up right well there is somebody else that likes you you've been dating somebody you've been having fun romance is blooming you've been having fun you've been flirting you want to get back out there you want to date again seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up okay so you've definitely been having fun you've been dating there's people that are attracted to you and you've been taking advantage of it you've been flirting okay you haven't been trying to control any situation you know that things need to occur in proper order and when the time is right the time is right you're not controlling any situations you're saying your affirmations you're manifesting you're manifesting what you truly want in your life okay and you could be manifesting some kind of soulmate twin flame connection. And there is somebody that you is coming in. Somebody that really likes you. Okay. Let's find out more about this karmic energy. What is this karmic energy about? Any karmic energy, spirit? Let's find out more about this karmic energy. The karmic energy between this dynamic. We're just going to get the karmic energy between this dynamic. woman here a malicious or spiteful woman there is a she devil a karmic energy that a third party interference somebody that is very spiteful somebody that will go to the extreme for attention somebody who is not who they appear to be this person is a liar okay and we could have a stable man here someone who has their shit together so this can go many ways if you are with somebody or have an ex they could be dealing with a karmic partner somebody who is trying to cause a wedge somebody some kind of third party interference somebody who is not who they appeared to be they were a liar they were malicious and they would go to extreme for attention. This is somebody who says like, I'm going to kill myself and then like does it right in front of you or like, I don't know. We'll do some crazy stuff for attention. Let's put it that way. Okay. And I feel like there is a stable man that is coming in for you whoever is watching this whoever this strong female is that has been through a lot you have a stable man that has their shit together you're done dealing with this lie like this lying karmic energy tell me more tell me more we will clarify yeah this third party energy energy interference and we have perfectionist. Someone doesn't want to be seen. Wait, what 
What's the bottom of the deck? Oh, the cards are backwards. Someone does not want to be seen. Let's get one more and then we'll clarify. Bad deals betrayed. Witnessing infidelity. Interesting. There was some kind of infidelity. Somebody is feeling very betrayed. Let's see. What do we want to clarify with? Dang it. Let's clarify with just the regular tarot. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's use the Tarot de la Nuit deck to clarify this karmic energy. All right, let's clarify this karmic energy spirit. Tell me about this. Devil. Tell me about this malicious energy. Let's see. Clarify she devil. Empress in reverse. Well, it fell like sideways, but interesting. It could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Empress in reverse is um, toxic feminine energy, karmic energy. I don't think they have reversals in this deck either. Hmm. Have a reversal. Hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's see. The Empress in Reverse is, wait, that's the Emperor. Dependent, attachment, and fruitless. There is a lack of harmony in your life as you try to juggle everything and maintain balance. Okay, so this is about overbearing, too protective or demanding over her relationships. Under or overripe, the fruit is not ready for picking. Replenish yourself and you will be able to find your center. Ground yourself back to the loving energy of Mother Earth with compassion. So there is a lack of harmony in somebody's life. Somebody is not happy. Okay, and they could be very spiteful. They're very overprotective of their relationships. Who is this catfish? Somebody is not who they appear to be. Somebody's not who they appear to be. Angel de la Newt in reverse. Mm, this 
the one card I don't know what it is either. The angel did not do it. One. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, I don't have a thing. See, hold on. I'm going to use deck that actually comes with reversal so you don't get confused. We'll just use my Mystic Mondays deck. Looks like this. I'm just trying to find out a couple clarifiers. We're going to find out what this energy interference is. Who this person is that is not who they appear to be what this lying energy is someone who is not what they appear to be someone is not what they appear to be not who they appear to be the five of cups the five of cups and that is about um somebody feeling like they're very they feel defeated. They feel, you know, like they lost. Right? Disappointment. A lot of setbacks. Is the glass half full or half empty? Disappointing setbacks have got you in a rut. This downfall is regressing you back to painful memories where expectations fell short. Bitter and broken, you are filled with resentment over what has happened to you. Taking the loss personally. It's okay to give yourself a moment to feel bad, but it is your decision how long you want to wallow in it. Forgive the people who have hurt you in the past, including yourself, for believing that they have the power to hurt you. Instead of thinking how much this sucks, reflect back on one of the lessons that you have learned. It may take some time for this thing to go away, so let yourself heal through this process. You'll come out of it much wiser human than when you started. And I'm thinking this is the same person. There's somebody who's very disappointed. They maybe wanted, I think your person could have, your ex, maybe there was some kind of karmic energy they were dealing with. This could have been one of their exes. Maybe they thought they were going to get back together. Something, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is this energy interference? The Four of Cups bottom of the deck king of pentacles in reverse more towards virgo capricorn energy and with the four of cups here this is about somebody um somebody that is just not content they're not content okay this is somebody who is bored with their life they're bored they feel like they have been, um, it's like there's been a rat race. They feel like they've been competing. They have, the rat race is wearing them down, okay? And the status quo no longer appeals to them. You are at odds with yourself. Do you listen to your deepest desires or do you stay stagnant but safe? The fear of the unknown is causing you to withdraw. Getting away from distractions to find peace. This is the time to contemplate, meditate, and reflect on what your true desires are. And if you are living life to the fullest, the opportunities are there and oftentimes right in front of you. You may be too self-absorbed in your own problems to notice the possibilities that lie before you. Shift your perspective, open your eyes, and you will see what you seek is much more than accessible to you when you originally thought I was. You have options. Okay. What was this infidelity about? Betrayed infidelity. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. materialism 
And we have the Ten of Cups. Prioritizing self-interest over everything else can easily turn into greed. Frugal spending for fear of losing it all has you clenching on tightly. With no room for error, you're on a conquest to gain more. So this could have been about money. Somebody could have been very selfish when it comes to their money. Okay? And this is somebody who you were supposed to be in a relationship with. You know, you wanted your your man to provide for you. And maybe your man was more concerned about money than providing for you. Okay? And there could have been some kind of infidelity. There could have been a third party situation here with the three of swords. This is a lot of heartbreak. A lot of sadness. It's one of the saddest cards in the deck. And there could have been a bad deal that was made. What is this bad deal? somebody somebody who did something very bad they made a deal with the devil they did not they, they fucked up royally and this person with the king of cups here and the princess of cups the page of cups they're going to be coming in to apologize for something that they did they did something very bad this person wants to apologize this person has a hard time showing how they truly feel that's one thing about the King of Cups. The King of Cups has a lot of emotions, but they have a hard time showing how they feel. And I feel like this person definitely is going to want to come and apologize for some kind of manipulative energy. There was some kind of manipulative energy, and they're going to be coming in very fast and very impulsive with the Knight of Swords. It was some kind of impulsive thing that they did. And then I see the tower here in reverse. Something was very impulsive. Something happened very fast. This person did something very impulsive. Something very bad that they wish they could take back. Something that they're they're regretting a lot with the Five of Cups here. This person is really regretting it. Okay, and with the Hanged Woman here in reverse, let's see what that is. They're putting a lot of effort and energy into a situation. See, you, you were putting a lot of effort and a lot of energy into a situation that was wearing you down. Especially when you were not seeing the return. So stop sacrificing your time and values to please this person. If you have been putting off a decision to avoid confrontation, it may come back to haunt you. The time will come when you finally have to speak your truths. And feeling stuck and unfulfilled is increasing your awareness of what do you want this suspension in time is actually a blessing in disguise yeah there's somebody who you've been waiting for an apology from and you have not been getting it and what you need to know is that the fact that it has taken so much time for this person to apologize this suspension in time has actually been a blessing in disguise because it has finally it's finally made you see, it's finally made you seem where you've just, you know, what you actually want. Meditate on your issues so that you can gain much needed clarity before making any moves. Utilize patience, sit still, and realize that your life is bigger than this one moment. There are always other options and they will reveal to themselves yeah, there's other options, all right, and they are going to inter um, reveal themselves, remember, because you have somebody coming in. You have somebody coming in, a secret admirer, remember? Somebody that has their shit together, and this person realize, is going to realize that it was too late. If they don't come and speak their truth, it might be too late by the time they come. You might have already moved on from this person. If not, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. We're going to get one from the dark mirror deck, okay? Let's 
get one from the dark mirror that fully close out this reading. Spirit, before we close out this reading, is there any last messages for what this reading is for? Any last messages? Wait too many. Just one card, Spirit. One card. Sacrifice and anger and chains. Unreasonable, undirected, but powerful. I've got to break free. I want to break free. Wow, there's somebody that's going to be sentenced. This could be jail. I just see sentence. I've got to break free. I want to break free. Lions and sparks and chains and signs and lines all metal together like an explosion. Anger is not the road to clarity. It is not a controlled effort or a cold dish. It is raw, primal, explosive. It is the loss of reason, the loss of restraint. A bomb burning bright in black color. A wax seal that's carefully crafted to be immediately broken. But anger is also freedom. How can you break a single thread woven with a million others? How can you unfetter yourself from a bad situation, letting all the rest unchain? It does not work like that. When you need to break free, you need to shake and shout, and more things will be broken than just what you want to hurt. They are like a bundle. You can target, but you cannot choose. Break many to break one. Save one to save many. Hmm. And then we have sacrifice. I have accepted my duty, and in my release, I found freedom. Even if I have to break apart, as long as it serves a purpose. There is a strong power in sacrifice. Our fears, our hopes, they are all chained to a small world. Our sense of self is a small petty creature of uncertain resolve and shaky horizons. With sacrifice, we renounce our sense of self. We accept to be lost. We accept to be shaken and de despised, gossip, betrayed and to be misunderstood and to be left alone, to rot and to die with just words of thanks while the world goes on over our broken dreams. But when we drown our sense of self to sacrifice, we are also a greater person. We are screaming that I exist and I make a difference. We accepted a price to pay and we used our blood and tears as currency. There is a price to pay for everything you do. There's something that you're going to have to sacrifice. Your freedom. Okay, we also have number 29 here, which equals out to 11. And then we have a number 7 here. We're going to go ahead and get you a... Angel answer. So go ahead and ask whatever question you have right now, and we'll get you an angel answer. Whatever question you have. Wow, it's a 48 minute reading. <laughs> whatever question you can have right now, and we will get you an answer. Question. We'll do two of them just in case the first one doesn't resonate. question whatever question you want to answer whatever question you want to ask so we can get that answer for you
fit in the bag today. There we go. Okay. Now that y'all thought about y'all's question, go ahead and ask now. I really hope y'all enjoyed this reading. For number one, we're going to do two questions or do three. So number one, what is the answer to their question? Look for a sign and perfect timing your angels have a very special and specific answer to your question you can expect to see the signs right away that will have deep meaning to you many people see white feathers to indicate that their angels are with them or they may smell scents from their childhood that they can connect with a family member. Signs required focused attention, so be awake to the possibilities. Don't mistake synchronistic events for mere coincidences at this time. There are messages ex um, especially designed for you. So go ahead and ask your spirit guides. Think of a certain animal or a certain object and say, let me see this. If, you know, this is, you know... Uh, some kind of sign, you know, whatever, whatever your question was, ask to see a certain animal to give you signs, certain animals or certain objects to give you signs to whatever your question was. Okay. Because this is the perfect timing for the situation that you have asked about. Move forward with confidence. Do not delay or hesitate because an energy gateway is present presently opening for you. Conditions are right. Even if you do not feel prepared, rest assured that you are. So if that didn't resonate with you, we'll get another one. All right, so for pile number two, what is their answer going to be, Spirit, if the last one did not resonate? We have communicate clearly and choose a new direction at the bottom of the deck. This situation requires a very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In-person discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. So I always think that letters are very effective when it comes to communicating. So each person can get everything out that they want to say. They have time to think about it before they say it. So it's not impulsive. Okay. And then we have choose a new direction. The time has come for you to choose a new direction for your life. The circumstances that you find yourself in may seem unfulfilling, or perhaps your heart is full of discontent. You know that there is something more out in the world for you, and you have been procrastinating, following the guidance of your angels. Make a conscious choice to be the person that you are meant to be. Create an action plan for yourself that leads you to the direction of your divine life purpose. Begin taking steps immediately towards a happier future. All right, you guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed that video. I hope you got some kind of clarity, some kind of guidance. 
please subscribe to the channel if you like the content give this video a big thumbs up right now it has something to do with the algorithm it is going to help other people out it's going to help your girl out it's going to help this video circulate across youtube so um even if it didn't resonate with you it could resonate with somebody else it could be the messages that somebody else really needs to hear you guys so as i always say let's build each other up and let's help each other out um you can also click the bell notification that way you are notified every time that i upload because i do not have a set schedule i go with the flow around here i um post as i am called to by my ancestors by my angels and by my guides so you guys um i love seeing you all again as always thank y'all so much for coming here today um Make sure that you're taking care of yourself. If today, if you haven't already done so, do something for yourself. Go outside, go get your hair done, get your nails done, get a massage. Do some kind of self-care for you, especially if you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine. It doesn't matter. I really want you to get into your goddess or god power and know how strong and beautiful you are. Do your makeup, do your hair. Just really like love and treat yourself good today, you guys. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for coming back to the channel, and I will talk to you guys soon. Namaste.